So let's go ahead and open up this uh, template. Sometimes you see this error message, this project must be converted from whichever version, the original file will be unchanged. As long as uh, your After Effects version is actually compatible with the template itself, when this error message pops up, just click OK. Because After Effects, the version that you have will actually auto-convert file, just that it won't actually overwrite the original file. So, uh, which is a good thing, you have something to fall back on. Now, before we proceed, I think it's a good idea to uh, just save. Let's call this customized. So as you can see in After Effects, we have the project pane, the effects control, some of the effects and presets and other areas and the main timeline. If you're a beginner, so you can just focus your attention on the project panel, the effects control, and the timeline. The timeline is where you can see all the different layers that are in this project. So this video is actually split up into a lot of different layers. And for the video that we want to create, we don't need so many layers. So let's just kind of, you can just scrub through and see what are the different types of uh, layers that we have. And if you select a layer, you can actually also solo the layer and see what exactly is that layer comprised of. So as you can see, this project is set up in a very modular structure. And I'm just going to be duplicating to see where this composition lies, I'm going to right click review composition in project. And I'm going to be duplicating it by pressing command D. And I'll re rename this to motion elements travel. Why I would do that is because I still have the original uh, composition structure. So anything goes wrong, well, I still have a backup. Now that we have duplicated the composition, uh, let's see how we can customize the template. On the first frame, I would like to change the name and the text and things like that. Well, to locate the layer that we want to change, we just select a layer and then we will just take a solo the layer to see what it is. And yeah, this is the layer that we want to change and uh, let's double click it to open up. And then you can see that, that it comprises of a single text layer and we can actually double click on it and change the text. Let's type in motion elements. And then once we change it here, and we go back into our motion elements travel composition, you can see that the text has already been updated. Sometimes you can get a bit lost, so you can click on this uh, composition, mini flow, and see which composition that you want to lead back up to. So here we can actually move back up to motion elements travel. Let's close this part. So we have our first frame done. Now that we've duplicated the composition, uh, it's time to customize it. Uh, since I already have the English version, now I want to do Korean version of the video. So I have my Korean colleague already translated all the text. So I'm going to be customizing the video for the Koreans. And to customize the template, we just need to click through the layers. And then we can solo the layer to see what exactly that layer comprised of. And firstly, we want to change this text here. We'll go ahead and double click it to open up the composition. And we can double click text layer so that we can edit it. I'm just gonna be pasting in the text done up by my Korean colleagues. And as you can see, we have a different font here. I can actually go ahead and customize the font for this. I'm going to be using Noto Sans. This is uh, an open source uh, font that you can use in your project. 
and maybe I'll make it a boat. Looks good. And now I can close the composition. It will bring me back to the original one. And you can see that the text has already been uh, updated to the Korean text. Let's go ahead and uh, customize the second layer. Okay, now that we have our first frame done, let's go into our next frame. And you can see that most of these are actually uh, videos with uh, text overlays with uh, various shapes that go on top of the video. Motion elements.